which is faster, X lookup or index match? Before we jump into that, let's just explain that X lookup is a simpler and safer version of index match and will replace V lookup, it'll replace H lookup, and in most instances, it'll replace index match as well. I'll put a link to my blog article about how you use XLOOKUP and the history behind it. Uh, but in the meantime, let's test out the speed. Now, I've given this a go. Um, I found out some interesting results and hopefully you'll find this interesting too. So stay tuned. Let's focus on just a quick explanation of what index match and now XLOOKUP will do. So if I press F2 on this cell, I am going to be looking up the city where C2 matches a certain code. And the city and the code are in this thing called ref table, which is on another sheet. So let me just show you that sheet. I'll just click onto the tab. Here's ref table. This is a list of unsorted codes, uh, the color, the type, the cost, and the city. And here's code A003. It's red, it's big. 643 and Perth. So here we go, A003, it's red, it's big, 643 Perth. XLOOKUP does exactly the same. Here's the syntax for XLOOKUP. We're gonna look up C3, which is A003, in the code column of ref table and bring back ref city. Now that formula is a lot simpler than this one. The order makes more sense. You don't have these comma zeros, you don't have extra double brackets. So X lookup, you know, is gonna be easier to write than index matches, but they both do on the face of it and it's core elements, the same thing. Now the beauty of X lookup is it does extra things as well, but that's for another podcast. This is just a speed test head to head. So if I change this to A004, for example, it's now green, small, 852 in Sydney. And again, XLOOKUP does exactly the same thing, green, small, 852C. So let's see this on a lot of lookups. I've got a table underneath that's got, let's just click on this and format it. Okay, it has got 500,000 rows and we're gonna do one, two, three, four lots of lookups. So that's two million lookups. And I'm gonna time how long it takes. So. Who knew that there's a timer app in Windows? I didn't, but I found out when I was just looking for one for this, doing this um, example. So if I zoom out of here a little bit so I can see all four formulas, I'm gonna copy those, okay? I am going to paste them in these columns here and it'll copy down to make two million formulas and I'll click this as soon as I've Press paste. So here we go. So if we look down the bottom of the screen, we can see that the progress is happening. We're up to eight, nine seconds, 11, 12. So there's the first part and we are done. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna save this file. So. I'm just going to file save as, go to my desktop, okay, and just save this as, um, we'll save this as the index match version. Okay, let's save. I've restarted, uh, reopened the original file so that I'm not clashing with anything I did before, so it's a nice fair challenge um, and a fair comparison. So we're now going to just copy the XLOOKUP formulas and paste those and see if 2 million XLOOKUPs will calculate any quicker than 2 million index matches. So I'm just copying those cells, highlighting where I want them to go and let's press paste and start timing. From the progress bar, it looks pretty similar. Nothing dramatically different. We've got the numbers, but they haven't calculated fully and we're done. 
So, you know, virtually the same time, um, given the vagaries of calculation, I'm not doing this in any particularly scientific way, you know, it's the same, that the speeds are the same. Um, let's just save this file and see if it's any smaller. We'll call this the sort of XLOOKUP version. And I don't imagine it would be any different. So let's just save it and see what happens. So here the file is now saved and I will go and, oh, I'm going to take a few seconds. Let's just refresh this view. Uh, there we go. So, oh, look, the files are the same size virtually. So index match, XLOOKUP, pretty much the same. Um, look, having tested this earlier with VLOOKUP as well, it's the same story too. Now, one argument and one thought, and I might just test this out now, is that if you did one lot of match columns, it's so one column with your matches in, and then your index, your four index columns, just refer to that single calculation of match. Maybe that'll speed things up. So I'll just mock that file up, and with the magic of editing, here's one I prepared earlier. So we've got a match helper column. The match function is just saying which row in our reference table does A004 exist on? Well, it's row two. Let's just go and double check. A004, row two of that table. Okay, so we've got this match helper column. So the concept is that we're going to calculate the match once and then index that in each formula. So you're removing, you know, 1.5 million matches in theory. Um, okay, so let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it's any quicker. So I'm copying this formula highlighting where it's going to go, press paste, ah, um, it's going to be a significant amount of time, okay, not expected, let's click OK, let's see what happens, and just looking at the progress bar down the bottom, this is going really slow, uh, so there's obviously something in the new dynamic array version of Excel that is meaning that this approach um, is slower than it used to be. So that's interesting. I'm actually going to pause this. Um, we're still only halfway through. So this is something we need to be aware of when our existing models and things come over to the new dynamic array version of Excel. So if you've got XLOOKUP, you've got the dynamic array version of Excel. They're the same things. So let's close out of here and I'll just undo this and we will try a different approach. So I've cleared everything out and let's try a different approach. Now that we have dynamic arrays, um, we have this concept of formulas being able to spill down. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my XLOOKUP formula. So let's just start typing in here. Um, Actually, I'll just do it down the side because you can't write dynamic arrays inside tables. So equals X lookup. And I am just going to click on the cell I'm looking up. But rather than the single cell, we're going to pick the entire column. So this is the new concept. Our formulas will now spill down to match those rows. So I'm going to look up every single row in that column and look up against this column and bring back the color. So that's XLOOKUP using the dynamic array functionality. And the same would work with, with index match as well. And if I press enter, I've instantly got all the results, all 500,000 rows have spilt down. Now, if I put something in the way, like a number one, you get a spill error. So what I'll do is I'll actually copy this formula and tweak it and we'll then see how quick all four formulas work. So I'll just speed this up and jump back in in a few seconds. So one of the nice things of using um, table references is you can just change the column reference nice and quickly. So I just change it to type, I just start typing in the column names and it's sensitive to it as well so it shows you what the labels are. So here's our formula ready to go. I'm going to Get rid of these ones, the formulas will spill down and I'll start the clock. So on your marks, get set, 
go. And there we have it, three seconds for two million X lookups. And the same thing would apply if I'd have done index matches. They're that quick. Now it's a shame we can't do array formulas inside tables, but as the table expands, that array formula will expand. Now let's save this file. Uh, let me just make the window a bit bigger a second. And we'll call this the array version. Okay, um, and let's take a look at how big this file is. Here we go. Wow, that's pretty cool. That is 12, 13 meg, so dramatically smaller as well. So the fact that those array formulas are spilling down makes a dramatic difference. I just want to show you one last thing that I came across that also surprised me. So I used to be in the habit of, for my index match formulas, putting an extra comma zero as a little placeholder in case I wanted to do a column number match. And if I copy that, just that one formula, and try and paste it here, I get this same warning that it's going to take a long time. And believe me, it takes a long time. So the way dynamic arrays are handling existing index max functions is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, but the magical answer is that if you're doing this sort of exercise, then highlight the entire column with your index match or XLOOKUP formula now, and you won't go far wrong. Smaller spreadsheets, faster calculating. So there's going to be some teething problems with dynamic arrays, but you can see the power of, you know, the speed of them um, can really outweigh any downsides. So that's pretty exciting. So that was the results on the bare face of it, X lookup versus index match, same speed. There's going to be some oddities when we start moving our old workbooks into the new dynamic array version of Excel. And using dynamic arrays, referencing entire columns, definitely seems to be the way forward if you want to speed up your calcs. Hope you found it useful. Please leave me some comments. Please share. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want more information about XLOOKUP, then you can check out xlookup.com.au and that will take you to the Access Analytic website. Thanks again.